Hi, it's Sandra, and today I'd like to show you this lovely manicure from beginning to end. As you can see, I only did one reverse stamping on this. The rest is just stamping. So I'd like to do my right hand and give you an idea on the process that I go through. So the only thing I have here is a my fingers. I've filed them. I've actually um, gotten the shape that I want and now I'm going to go on and kind of treat them. So usually what I do is I file, then I'll put some of this, this cuticle oil on, which I use Sally Hansen. And then I'll use my glass cuticle um, pusher to actually push in my cuticles. And if I have cuticles that are way out of control, then sometimes I'll cut them, but I really try not to cut them. And by the way, I do love this glass cuticle pusher by Maniology. It really does um, help your cuticles. So I go through this process before I actually start painting. Once I'm done with that, I take um, acetone and I actually go over it with these cotton pads on each one of my nails and that actually takes the oils and cleans the surface so that way you can get a really nice manicure and it'll stay. My base coat lately has been this china glaze. I usually don't have luck with china glaze polishes, but this it, a strong adhesion base coat seems to work really well. So I have been using this lately and that's what I'm going to go with here. So I'm just going to put this base coat on all my nails and make sure one of the things that you really want to make sure of is that you allow each layer to dry thoroughly before you go to the next. So I've put on my first on my base coat. I only do one coat of base coat. And the next step is I probably will make the, the um, reverse stamping uh, decal. But let's go through the polishes first. So this is Retrograde. This is by Maniology. And this is the really light polish that you see on my nails. I really like this. I actually ordered this Manny and Me kit because of this polish. It's very, very light, but it, it's just, I think it's really pretty. So I use that on the two, my pointer finger and my ring finger. The polishes that I used for my pinky and my middle finger and my thumb, I believe I got from Polish Pickup, and Polish Pickup is a cool place to get nail polish. They carry all brands, and the one that I got was Art as Nails, and this particular color um, is it's got a kind of like blue flex in it and it's got a purple tint. It's called Dwarka and I think that's a very pretty color and I've been dying to use it and I'm glad I was able to use it on this manicure. I also used Maniology's Frozen. This is their kind of frosty white polish, stamping polish, and it all almost comes out gray, or I'm sorry, silver. It doesn't come out a, a deep white. It's more of a silvery color, and it's I think it shows up really well on these dark polishes. Of course, I'm using Sally Hansen Hard as Nails for the pink that you see in the little polar bear, and this particular color is called Heart of Stone. And it's one that I've had to buy several times because I keep using it. And the white that I have this time is Essie. And it's called Blanc. And I really just buy whatever's on sale when I find white polish. And Essie's got their polishes are nice. I did stamp in one of Annieology's brown. And I really like this brown polish. I use this all the time. This is another one that I have to often replace. And this one is called Arabia Bica. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but I really like this color. It's a nice medium brown. And I've been using this OPI Infinite Shine top coat lately. I really like this. It really seems to seal the na my nails and keep a long manicure. Also used the black stamping polish for the bear, and this is Maniology's just their regular black. It's straight up black. So 
So I've got my fingers all prepped. I've got my base coat on. So now what, I'll what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually make the, the actual polar bear. That way the polar bear can sit there and dry before we actually apply them to my nail. If you apply these stamps, these reverse stamping decals too early, then the whole thing smears and becomes a mess. So just make sure that your decal is extremely dry before you do that. And I used Maniology M137 and you can see the little polar bear right here. And all I'm going to do is stamp him in black and then remove the little um, triangles that you see on there. Also I'm going to use What's Up BO35. This has great snowflakes. They're nice and small and they're very condensed so that way on a small area you can get a lot of them. And then I had this one, I believe it's from Born Pretty LO56. And I thought this had some interesting snowflakes and that's what I used on my po pointer and ring finger. Just the huge snowflakes that you see on my nails. These are the two that I actually used. And last but not least, I did use this uh, Uber Chic plate. I love the snow. I know you could do dots if you wanted to, but I love this random snow that they have on these plates. It makes it brainless and I don't have to think about it. Okay, so I'm going to start by using the black polish to stamp the little polar bear. And I always like to turn the whatever polish I'm using upside down and roll it in my hand so that way it warms it up and so that way it mixes it. I'm just going to apply the polish and scrape it. And I like using these rectangular uh, stampers. Uh, at first it was very hard for me to get used to, but I eventually did and now I really like it. If you use the back of your scraper card, you can. it's a lot easier to get the, the stuff that you want out of there off the stamper, but you have to do it while the, the stamping polish is wet. Otherwise it won't come off with the card. And then because it was so, I, by the time I was done, it was so dry, I ended up using a piece of tape to get the rest of it off. So I'm going to clean this plate. And I'm going to get out my little handy dandy quartz rock that I got from Maniology. And I'm going to use this as my palette for the colors that I'm going to use. Although you can use, um, and I do, sometimes I use a fine brush for this. Um, I do prefer the dotting tool. And I think it's because when I use the fine brush, I have a tendency to want to brush it. And if you brush, it's going to take your outline off. Whereas with the dotting tool, I'm always conscious of what I'm doing, that I'm just dotting. So you got to kind of have a plan of attack for this when you reverse stamp. So you want to try to get, you can either do the big areas and then fill in the small areas. Because once you fill in the small areas, then, or I'm sorry, once you fill in the big areas, then the small areas you don't, you can be kind of sloppy with because obviously once you've already got it all outlined, when you go back in for the small areas, you don't have to be as careful. But this one I decided to do the brown first. So I'm doing his little face brown. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you have plenty of polish. You don't want to skimp because if you wipe it and it's dry, it's going to pull the, the outline. This is where I use my pink, put that on. And you want to kind of work fast because these colors dry really quickly on the stone. And then obviously I'm going to use, use the white. Okay, and the little bear is all done. If your polish starts to get goopy, goopy you want to make sure that you put some more down because you don't want to use goopy polish. Again, it'll pull the outline off. And let's turn it around and look at the back. And as you can see, he looks pretty good. I don't see any places that I missed. So I'm going to set him aside and let him dry while I work on the rest of my nails. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to put on Manny Allergies, the real light blue. I'm going to let that dry. Next, I'm going to do my other nails in the dwarf color. Remember, it's very important to make sure that you let these layers of polish dry really well before you go to the next one. And I don't worry about mess because I know that after I'm all done, I'm going to clean up around my nails. I'm not a very good, careful painter. So now I'm going to put on my second, I let it dry for a little bit, put on the second coat on all the nails. Let's talk about stampers while we're while I'm waiting for my polish to dry. I mentioned earlier that I like the rectangular stampers, and when Manny, Al Manny Allergy first sent me one of these, I could not use it. It was very hard for me to use. So I've gotten used to it over the time, and now I really prefer them because they are the shape of the actual stamps. And to me, they're just they just pick up easier, and they're easier to use, especially on. Uh, plates that have the layers so I really prefer that I've also got some round ones and this one is the double sided stamper and I like that that's fine I still prefer the rectangular one over that and then I have an actual couple round ones a monocle stamper and um, another one that I had bought from Queen and I find that once I use the rectangular stamper for a while if I have to use if I run out of stampers and I need to use one of the round ones, I have to get used to that all over again. So it takes me a couple tries. So it's interesting how you acclimate to whatever you're using and how you kind of got to reacclimate yourself to whatever stamper you decide to use. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the full snowflake on my pointer finger and my ring finger. So this is the one I'm using first. And this one I'm actually using the regular white for the um, for the stamping. I'm not using the frozen. So that's a really nice that um, stamp, and I'm just going to take off the excess, the other snowflakes. And half the time I use tape and half the time I use my scraper. So, like I said, when you do use a scraper to uh, take off excess prints, you just have to use it quickly because once it dries on that stamp, you can't get it off with the little scraper. So the hardest thing about applying these stamps is obviously trying to get it centered on your nail. And it takes a while to actually get that right. And I still don't get these stamps centered exactly but that's okay and you just got to get it on there and what I usually do is try to center it make sure that from side to side there's just as much design on one side as the other and then I just press it on now if you waited any length of time your stamp actually might not stick to your nail so you have to be careful with time. If you think that you've messed around too much and it may be that, your, that the stamp won't stick, what I suggest is you either, what I like using are, there's a couple products I like using, but you can absolutely just use top coat and give that a couple seconds before you apply the stamp. Manny Allergy's top coat, um, no smear top coat is kind of, is nice to use if you're going to use uh, top coat because it's water-based so it doesn't take very long to dry so I just put a very thin coat on when I'm using that to stick things stick decals to my nails and then just wait a few sec a few minutes and then apply the stamp with the top coat the smudge free top coat though if you wait too long you've missed the opportunity you just have to reapply but since I just finished my nails this the stamp should stick with no problem. So I'm going to apply my second snowflake. I'm 
line it up, find the center of my nail, line it up from side to side so that there's just as much of the design on my left side as the right, and then I'm just going to press it on. I like to go from side to side too with it, so that way it makes sure that it's on, and I like to pull off, pull it up off the top as you've seen like I go towards the end of my nail so that way if there's any um, of the stencil that's kind of wisping around it kind of makes it stop and go where it's supposed to go otherwise it could lay right across your design now I'm going to do the dark blue and those are just the snowflakes and with this one I'm going to actually use the um, the frosted stamping polish and like I said this kind of gives you a silvery hint the great thing about these rectangular stampers too is that Maniology sells just the little um, the little stamper pad so you can buy these separate and just keep the plastic frame that it actually goes in and I have bought those and they're perfect so you can as long as you take care of these plastic stampers you can just keep refilling them with a new uh, latex stamping pad okay again I'm just gonna line this up try to put the, those two snowflakes in the center of my nail I'm going to do the same on my thumb once I clean my stamp and you never want to use acetone on your stamper you always want to use you can use tape you can use a lint roller whatever you prefer to take the rest of the uh, stamping polish off with you never want to be chintzy with your stamping polish you always want to make sure that you get enough on there that it covers the whole design some people will tell you put it you know a quarter of the way down put it half the way down I just put it on there and know that I have enough more than enough to cover the stamp well my thumb is so wide that it usually the stamp usually does not cover it from side to side so I try to that this is where I really like to get it equal on my left and right side so it doesn't look like one side has a full stamp and the other side is like totally empty so I'm just gonna center it here again I'm gonna use those two snowflakes as my center clean off my stamp and then I'm going to apply my polar bear oh, first I have to put the snow so I'm gonna put snow on here first because I want the snow to go underneath the polar bear I have done this where I put the snow on top and that actually looks cool too because it looks like it falls right on the little design that you have on there but today I decided to do it as a background and I love the snow stamp. I think this is so great. I'm going to be using that snow all winter long. Great idea. make sure that I get this from side to side so that way the snow is on my full nail gotta really be conscious of that left to right thing as well as top and bottom take all this off of my stamper
Okay, so I have worked for quite a while on my nails, so I, I'm thinking that it's probably going to be a little dry. So I'm going to actually add the um, Maniology No Smudge Top Coat on here to cover not only the little snow, but also to use as a base uh, for my, my decal so that way it sticks to it. And I'm just going to do, just give it a little bit of top coat. I don't want to put a whole bunch on there because that just means that I have to wait longer to apply my little polar bear. So I'm going to put the no smudge top coat on all my fingers and I'm going to save the one that I'm going to apply my polar bear to as last. You always want to top, put some of the top coat on the edge of your, the end of your finger, so that way it seals it. Remember, this no, sm no smudge top coat by Maniology is just meant to help your stamps from steer smearing. You also want to apply a regular top coat over top once the no smudge dries. So, because it's a water-based top coat, it's just not going to seal your image in your nails as much as a regular top coat would. Okay, so I'm going to put this on my middle finger where I'm going to apply my bear and I'm going to let this dry for a little bit because if I was to apply it right now it's, it would smear and look horrible. So you let it dry for a little bit. Okay, given this a few minutes to dry and now I'm going to, and here I am touching it, so I've given it a few minutes to dry. It feels like it's ready to go. So I'm going to apply the little polar bear and like on all the nails, I'm going to try to find the middle and stick them on there. And just remember, you don't want him too far down because if you have to file your nail um, and the nail, your manicure still looks great, you don't want the polar bear to be erased by nail filing. So you want to kind of center him not all the way to the top, but you want him centered and you want him not at your edge, the bottom of your nail. There you go. The little polar bear is on there. It looks very cute. So the next step that I'm going to take is I'm actually going to clean up my nails and make them look presentable. And what I like to do is actually clean my nails before I put the final top coat on because it's so much easier to use the acetone and the brush if that final top coat is not on there. So now I'm just going to clean up my nails and then apply my top coat and that's it. So thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're going to use any Maniology products, please don't forget my code for a 10% off. My code is NS10. Thank you very much.